The purpose of this video is to give you a quick overview of this style hasp right here. Um, what's unique about this uh, cover right here is that you could use a puck lock. So I'm going to kind of take this off and show you the reason. Um, when this puck lock is installed, it covers over this metal right here so it's not uh, accessible to the would-be thief. Um, this T-handle cover does have dual purpose. It could be used with a traditional style padlock, even one with a large shackle. Um, I mean, this is a good way of adding a bit of extra protection to your machine, but with this, your shackle is exposed as well as this softer metal right here. Um, so this can be done. However, our recommended method is to use a puck lock like this. So this lock will cover over here. And then when you go ahead and lock it, then it, it's kind of harder for somebody to come in here and uh, gain access to it and uh, break into your machine. Okay, to uh, install this cover that goes over the T-handle, uh, basically what you're going to do, you'll observe that there's uh, two carriage bolts uh, on the front. So again, you're going to have, you'll access this from the back and, and all you're going to be doing is removing these carriage bolts and then this uh, T-handle kind of it uses these same uh, bolts to hold it in place. Okay, to uh, install this cover is very simple. Basically, the tools you'll need, these uh, nuts here are typically 3 8 uh, A pair of pliers is uh, probably what you would need to remove this larger nut. So the, the first step is you're going to um, take this nut off right here, this upper carriage bolt. There's a carriage bolt down here. Once those are removed by taking off the nuts, the T-handle will push forward. You'll put the cover on and then replace it and uh, put your nuts back on the uh, bolts. All right, here's an example of a uh, T-handle that will work. Um, this is on an American Changer. And just when you're looking at it, this handle actually protrudes from the body of the cabinet. So the, uh, the cover will work on this style of American Changer. All right, here this is a uh, cigarette machine style update kit. And again, this style of T-handle protrudes. So this would be an easy installation with our T-handle cover. All right, uh, I guess here we have an AMS style vending machine. This right here has the correct type of uh, T-handle that protrudes. Uh, just before you go out to do this type of installation, uh, you always want to observe the area around the, uh, the T-handle. In this case, uh, the cover will work perfectly, but you're going to need to bring a hacksaw or, or a jigsaw with a metal cutting blade. And basically when you do this, you're going to have to cut away a section of the machine trim because the T-handle cover takes up more space than just this. So, you know, just before you go and start your installation or, or you know, take into account you may need to bring a, um, a jigsaw or kind of take, take the area into consideration around your T-handle. Uh, I guess the T-handle cover featured in this video actually you will not work if the T-handle is recessed. So this is a Dixie Narco soda machine. When this T-handle is locked, it's flush. So the way you'll know is if you do not see two exposed uh, carriage bolts that can be removed to secure the cover, uh, you'll need to buy a different style hasp from us. So in other words, when, this, when the handle pulls in and is recessed and flushed, the uh, part featured in this video is not going to suit you.